Hello and welcome to another U.S. History Online lesson. Today we're going to continue with our unit on the Progressive Era by examining the muckrakers. So, what is a muckraker? Well, a muckraker is a journalist, could be someone writing an article, could be someone writing a book, could be someone taking pictures, could be someone drawing cartoons, and all in an effort to bring awareness to the dirt or the muck in society. Their goal is to bring it to the attention of public officials in government in hopes of trying to address some of these problems. And it's also bringing awareness to American people that may not know about some of these problems. The name Muckraker was given to these journalists by President Theodore Roosevelt because they were always bringing up the muck in American society. In fact, you've already learned about one of the Muckrakers, Thomas Nast, and his efforts to expose political corruption. The first muckraker that we're going to talk about today is Frank Norris. Frank Norris wrote a book called The Octopus in 1901, which is a fictional account about the struggle that farmers were engaged in with railroad monopolies during the age of industrialization, and it helps lead to the breakup of these monopolies, like what takes place in the Supreme Court case Northern Securities versus the U.S. in 1904. Another influential muckraker was Lewis Hine. Lewis Hine was a photojournalist that was able to capture child labor. He was able to show kids working in coal mines and in factories in every other working condition imaginable. This helped pave the way for child labor laws in different states and across the country as a whole. Ida Tarbell was a writer that was able to expose the ruthless business tactics of the Standard Oil Company in a series of articles in McClure's magazine published together in 1904. These articles were so damaging that they led to the Supreme Court case Standard Oil vs. the U.S. in 1911, the same Supreme Court case that would split up the Standard Oil Company of John Rockefeller. In his book, How the Other Half Lives, written in 1890, Danish immigrant Jacob Rees was able to expose the living conditions of the urban poor, focusing primarily on tenements, all in an effort to show the middle class literally how the other half lives. He was able to do this in photos and through story. And as a result, New York City passed building codes to promote safety and health. Last, and certainly not least, is the book The Jungle, written by Upton Sinclair in 1906. In the book The Jungle, it investigates the dangerous working conditions and unsanitary procedures in the meatpacking industry of Chicago. This will lead to a couple of different pieces of legislation to reform the food industry. The first, coming in 1906, was the Pure Food and Drug Act, which required all food and medicines to have labels with ingredients, side effects, and other things. This act still exists and is regulated by the FDA the Food and Drug Administration. And it also led the way for the Meat Inspection Act of 1906, which requires all meat products to be inspected by the government before, during, and after processing. So there you have it. This gives you a glimpse at just some of the work of some of the muckrakers during the Progressive Era. We'll explore the works of these five more in class. Next time, we'll focus on social reforms, including what happens when you take away America's alcohol.